Um, okay guys, Lola Butterfly here, um, back again with a, um, it's not really a review video, it's just kind of a, you know, blah blah chit chat video. The last video that I made, I realized that I didn't tell you guys much about the results, um, that I've gotten with the S-shaped machine here behind me. Um, the quality of the machine is really good. I I get really good results. My clients are happy with the results that they get. The results are fast. It's really convenient because, in case you didn't already know, the S-shaped machine is 30K cavitation, which is stronger than 40K cavitation. It's supposed to penetrate even deeper through those hard, I guess, deeper or visceral layers of fat. And... Um, it also has the two-in-one uh, ultrasound head. So the RF and the ultrasound are all in one head rather than separately. I do like that. And at the same time, I have a tendency to forget that it's two-in-one. So sometimes I feel like I'm skipping a step. Um, but it's that's not a bad thing. It just takes some getting used to if you're used to using multiple heads for... Um, the different treatments so that's a nice convenience that it has the two-in-one control head the result I, I to be honest with you I've never used any other machine so I don't really have anything to compare it to um, so there's that but um, I'm very pleased with the results that I get um, I can't like I said I can't compare them excuse me to anything else but if there's anything else you want to know you can feel free to ask me um, so what I really want to chit chat about are some of the things that I've encountered since opening my own body contouring, uh, office. I don't have a lot of clients. I have about maybe 12 to 15 clients. Well, I get, well, that's good. That is good. Uh, but some of the things that I've encountered, or at least one of the main things, for instance, I offer free consultations. I had no idea how much of a headache that that would be. I didn't realize people would literally cancel at the very last minute or while I'm on my way to my office. I work, I live maybe 30, 35 minutes away, and I only take appointments. So when someone books an appointment and I'll send them like a confirmation email to confirm whether or not they'll still be able to make that appointment and they won't respond until like five minutes before their appointment. Meanwhile, I've gotten up early. I've started getting ready. I've showed up to my office early so that I can prepare things, make sure that everything is together and... They're canceling while I'm five minutes away or once I'm already sitting here waiting. I could have been in bed still sleeping or that time could have been used. That time slot could have been for, you know, someone who was really serious about coming in. That has really gotten on my nerves. Um, so yesterday I decided that I'm just, well, not, not yesterday. After today, I had an appointment that canceled. I sent her an email two hours before the appointment and as I'm getting ready and you know driving and just about here to my office I get a response saying not gonna be able to make it sorry so at that moment I decided I have to go on my website and I'm gonna have to take a deposit but it, it'll be refundable you know if they actually show up but if they don't I won't be as inconvenienced but it still pisses me off because that's still a time slot that, you know, someone else could have booked who was actually going to, you know, come in and get a treatment. The other thing that's really been bugging me is the fact that people, at least the people that I've come in contact with or reached out to, don't seem to really want to share any of their um, secrets or how they get their results or anything like that. And I understand, like, um, 
Some people are like, oh, I don't tell people that, but you can take my class. I'm like, but you're in a whole other state, a whole other city. Sometimes you're in a whole other part of the world. You know, what's what's the big deal? I'll compliment them, you know, like, oh, my God, you know, you do really good work. You get really great results. You know, what is your method? What do you find, you know, works the best? How do you get such good results? And I don't know if I'm just tripping or maybe I should be a little bit tighter with my methods but I don't know I don't I guess I don't get why people are so tight-lipped and unwilling to share and exchange information it's really really sucky it's like I'm not your competition I'm not I'm not where you are and I feel like in this business your clients are going to be your clients you know um I don't know that's something that really really bugged me I really wish that people I guess weren't like that. Like, I don't mind telling people how I get the results I get or the process or the steps that I take. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me. But it's really unfortunate. I'm Because I, I feel like this is a, a small community of people who... Or at least where I am, there aren't a whole bunch of people who do what I do, or at least not do it well. So when I see someone in Las Vegas or whatever, or Columbia or whatever part of the world they're in, or Atlanta, whatever, and you know, I reach out to them like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm just now opening up my own office and you know I'm developing new techniques and things like that. You do really great work. I love the results you get. What's your process? Oh, I don't tell that, but you can take my class. And I'm like, I can't take your class. But I mean, I I get that people have to get their coins or whatever. But at the same time, I don't know. I guess I just wish people were nicer and more forthcoming. Because I am. But, I mean, I guess that's okay. But that's just something that seems to really bug me I was like oh my god is this the kind of industry it is like you can't just share things like that you know techniques are a secret secret or I guess it's more of a secret society or something I I don't know I don't know anyway I just wanted to get that off my chest does anyone else out there like experience that or notice that that people don't really want to share their tips and tricks on how they get the results that they get like it's just hmm. anyway so that's what this video is really cut and dry um if there's anything else in particular that you want me to talk about or tell you about regarding the S-shaped machine or the company that I ordered the machines from, I have the vacuum therapy machine, I have the S-shape, and I have the EMS muscle stimulator, the one with the pads the, for the muscle contraction. I can tell you whatever it is you want to know or that I've learned thus far using these machines and working with this company. So hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way or I hope that you could relate to it in some way. If not, sorry. Um, just killing time and sharing a little bit. All right, guys. Have a good day.